this meditation is uh, one of awakening our capacity for loving awareness. And just as a preface, you can keep your eyes closed and listen. This will be a short contexting. If we really investigate awareness, there are three primary qualities that we discover. And one of them is a cognizance or knowing that there's knowing going on, moment to moment. And another is that that knowing is a boundless spaciousness. There's no limit, no central point to that knowing. It's, uh, it's a wakeful sea of awareness. And they're completely interrelated, these qualities. So there's knowing and there's that openness, boundlessness. And the third quality is sometimes described as this capacity to respond, this tenderness, that when we're fully wakeful, cognizant, and fully open, there is an innate kind of warmth or tenderness in response to whatever arises. What we find as we deepen practice is that there are times that there's a lot of a sense of warmth and tenderness, but it's conditional, it's conditioned. It's not all-inclusive because there's not really that full spaciousness and cognizance there. So it's love without the qualities of equanimity, of that openness. So that love is conditional love, and it's intrinsically good, and yet it's still limited because there's not that full awakeness and openness. On the other hand, there are times we're quite open and wakeful, but it's a kind of dry, what they call dry emptiness spacious, noticing, but without any sense of tenderness or warmth. And that's because it's disembodied. There's not a real um, inhabiting and feeling of the aliveness that's right here. It's like being the ocean, but really not sensing the movement of the waves. So for there to be unconditional loving awareness, uh, we need all these qualities this very embodied presence, and yet quite spacious and open and awake. So we'll explore a meditation that um, I don't lead very often. I do it a lot in my own practice. I find it really powerful. You'll hear in it that there's a kind of repeating question and that's just a form of the meditation for you to just find for yourself what's, what's there. The way that I find helpful to begin this or any meditation really is to take a moment to sense the sitting posture and to scan through to notice the very obvious places of tightness, tension, and just see what wants to let go right now. It's also helpful to have an initial openness to imagine sense a great sky, great blue sky extending outward and outward. And sense that curve and felt sense of a smile spreading through the sky. So there's a very, a feeling of light and openness and receptivity. And let your mind merge with that openness. 
open, light-filled, receptive sky mind. You might sense that smile spreading through the eyes, that area of the eyes. Corners lifted up a little, as if that smile's floating in the sky mind, in the region of your eyes. And similarly, slight smile at the mouth, in the inside of the mouth. and letting a smile spread through the heart. You can imagine the smile and the the spirit and energy of a smile spreading through the body, just further creating presence, openness, receptivity. We begin with a more subtle scanning down, opening in and in, really. Can you imagine and feel and sense the space between your eyes? Just check that out. Imagine and feel the space between the eyes. Can you imagine and feel the space inside the nostrils? Can you imagine and feel the space inside the tongue? The aliveness there and the space, the volume of the tongue. Can you imagine and feel the space inside the lips, the aliveness and the space it's moving in? Can you imagine and feel the space inside the teeth, the gums? in the space that fills the whole mouth. Can you imagine and feel the space that fills the neck, the aliveness, the space it's moving in, perhaps even the interior space that sensations arise from. The image of subatomic particles appearing and dissolving into space. Can you imagine and feel the space inside the shoulders, the space that fills the shoulders. Again, sensing, sensation, aliveness, moving in space, appearing from interior space. Can you imagine and feel the volume, the length of the arms, the space that fills the arms?
Can you imagine and feel the space inside your thumbs? And can you imagine and feel the space inside your forefinger? Can you imagine and feel the space that fills the thumb, the forefinger, and the space between them? And can you imagine and feel the space inside the middle finger? And then the ring finger. Can you imagine and feel the space inside the pinky, the small finger? Can you imagine and feel the space between the palm of your hand and the back of your hand? And can you imagine and feel the space of your whole hands? Fills your whole hands bones, flesh, spaces between the fingers, the aliveness that's happening in that space, the interior space. Can you imagine and feel the space between the sides of your chest. The distance between the sides of your chest. Can you imagine and feel the distance between the front of the chest and your back. Can you imagine and feel the volume that fills the whole chest area, the space inside your chest? all dimensions, filled with space, sensing the aliveness, moving in that space. Can you imagine and feel a space inside your heart, a space that fills your heart? interior space. Can you imagine and feel the distance between the sides of your body and the abdominal area? Can you imagine and feel the distance between the navel and the small of the back? Can 
And can you imagine and feel the space that fills the entire belly, the abdominal area, all dimensions? the aliveness of energy and sensation and the space that it's happening in that it arises from, the interior space. And can you imagine and feel the space that fills the pelvic region space and aliveness. Aware of the legs, their length, their volume. Can you imagine and feel the space inside your feet the space that fills the feet. Again, imagining and feeling the space inside the hands. And then imagining and feeling the space that fills this whole body. The interior space that all the aliveness arises from, dissolves into. Can you imagine that space that extends outward and outward in front of you, beyond the furthest stars? And can you imagine the space that extends behind you, outward and outward, beyond the furthest stars? And can you imagine and feel the space that extends to either side, outward and outward, beyond the furthest stars? Can you imagine and feel the space that extends below you, and above you, outward and outward, beyond the furthest stars. Can you imagine and feel that this vast, boundless outer space and this endless interior space are continuous, continuous space. Can you imagine and sense that everything you experience is floating in and moving in this in continuous space. And 
And can you imagine and feel that this continuous space is suffused with the light of awareness? Radiant with the light of awareness. Can you imagine and feel how this continuous light-filled space is experienced in the dimension of the heart, this human heart? you imagine and feel this continuous awake space suffused with tenderness including and tender towards everything that arises Can you imagine and feel the possibility of getting familiar with this edgeless, tender heart space as home? And can you imagine that each of us, all beings everywhere, has the potential to access and wake up to this same vast, tender heart space? Resting in your sense of the most awake heart space that's here.
from the wisdom of awakened heart space, you might sense if there's any message, something that is valuable to remember in this moment. from the Radiant Sutras. There is a place in the heart where everything meets. Go there if you want to find me. Mind, senses, soul, eternity, all are there. Are you there? Enter the bowl of vastness that is the heart. Give yourself to it with total abandon. Quiet ecstasy is there and a steady, regal sense of resting in a perfect spot. Once you know the way, the nature of attention will call you to return again and again and be saturated with knowing, I belong here. I am at home here. Once you know the way, the nature of attention will call you to return again and again and be saturated with knowing, I belong here, I am at home here. 